my daughter Nucky, who's 16 years old, officially married her boyfriend Pookie over the winter and finally gave her my blessing. The short-lived but thoroughly entertaining Gypsy Sisters was a TLC reality series that debuted in February 2013 and served as a spin-off to My Big Fat American Gypsy Wedding. Following the daily comings and goings of West Virginia-based romantical women, the show's four seasons and 32 episodes were full of drama, physical and verbal fights, and 21st century hootenannies. Disappointingly, Gypsy Sisters was canceled in July 2015 due to dwindling rates. The show was heavily criticized due to its stereotypically negative portrayals of romantical people. Although one colorful IMDb review says, they act like trash, they're slobs, they're rude, they don't tip, they are all alcoholics, they are perverted and disrespectful, they exist. The infamous Stanleys led such nonsensical lives that some viewers wondered if they were caricatures or real people. Nettie Stanley, the family matriarch and self-proclaimed mother hen, was Dovey, Melly, and Joanne's older sister and mother of nine. She married Huey Stanley in 2004 and the couple renewed their vows in the season 3 finale. A glamorous blonde with a penchant for fancy clothes, she stepped away from TV following her stepson's death and has since made her social media profiles private. Joanne Wells was known for being good-natured and more level-headed than her somewhat reckless family members. The brunette was the middle sister of the Stanleys and didn't seem too interested in a TV lifestyle, but appeared between seasons 2 and 4. In season 3, the mother of two announced that she planned to divorce her husband Belcher. The couple reconciled in 2016 but parted ways once again. In 2014, Joanne was arrested for a Target coupon fraud scam to the tune of $14,000. After pleading guilty, she was sentenced to two years of supervised probation and had to pay Target $14,786 in restitution. After finding love for the second time, Joanne has kept on the straight and narrow and is rarely heard about. Melly Stanley was the youngest Stanley sister and the family's black sheep, who disapproved of the gypsy lifestyle but did little to improve her situation. Born in Pennsylvania in 1989, the single mother of four was certainly unlucky in love and had at least two failed marriages as well as two failed long-term relationships, each of them resulting in a child. Her children, Richard Joel Wetzel Stanley, Brandy Wayne Lavinia Piccolo, Divinity Rose Lee, and Serenity Faye West were all born between 2013 and 2020. Melly and one of her husbands at the time, George Lee, were arrested in 2017 for a coupon fraud scam linked to Toys R Us. In 2019, she was sentenced to five years probation, with one of the requirements being that she pass her General Education Development Test, or GED effectively online matriculation. Sheila Kayla Williams was another recurring cast member and Annie's sister. The mother of five was with her husband Richard for 17 years before their mellow divorce. She's been married twice since. Her children, Danielle, Sissy, Richard, Lexi, and George are a spread of ages, although the two oldest girls have now formed families of their own. If things weren't complicated enough, Kayla's ex-husband Richard shares two sons with Danielle Malone. Danielle's brother, James Malone, is Annie's ex-husband and the father of Dallas's daughters. These days, Kayla shares cooking, cleaning, and beauty tips with her hundreds of thousands of social media followers. She has a thriving YouTube channel and would appear to be in a happy relationship with a new guy, but hasn't shared if she plans on walking down the aisle for the fourth time. Angela Annie Malone is a surprisingly immature mother of five. Known for her clownish antics and for marrying her cousin Josh in an episode of Big Fat Gypsy Wedding, to keep things in the family, she married James Malone after he had children with her cousin Dallas, but they subsequently divorced. Dovey Carter is one of the four Stanley sisters who appeared briefly in season four and was known for being the family mediator, much like Joanne. The brunette is inactive on social media and there's little public information about her life. Laura Johnston became part of the Gypsy Clan after marrying Gus, Kayla and Annie's brother, and having three daughters with him named Savannah, Haley, and Bella. 
She was very much a minor character who disappeared after a couple of cameos in season 1. Laura and Gus are believed to still be together. Sheena Small is first cousin to Melly, Nadie, Dovey, Joanne, Kayla, and Annie. She shares four girls with Melly and Nettie's brother, Henry, named Shakira, Shania, Shirley, and Frankie. Sheena was largely irrelevant in the show, and was only seen in a couple of episodes of the second season. Dallas Nicole Williams is Nettie's oldest daughter and a mother of six. Her growing brood, Demi, Richard, London, Aaron, Archie, and Huey, whew, don't all share the same father, despite James, the father of two of her children, marrying her cousin Annie, Dallas reconciled with her ex-lover at Christmas 2016, much to Annie's chagrin. However, Dallas and James soon broke up again. Nettie Nucky Williams is, surprise surprise, another controversial character known for leaving her partner, Pookie, and son, Prince Harry, to travel the world with her boyfriend, who was a heroin addict. In December 2016, Nettie returned to her family thanks to Pookie and his girlfriend Samantha. Two months later, Samantha divorced Pookie and he gave things a second go with Nucky. They now share three children, Prince Henry, Ivory, and Delilah Lee. From family birthday parties that turned into fistfights, to language that would make a sailor blush. Gypsy Sisters was the reality TV equivalent of a car crash. So awful, but you just couldn't look away. However, it's said that the real reason that the show was cancelled had nothing to do with coupon fraud or bad behavior, but something much more sinister. A deplorable act of animal cruelty. In July 2015, TMZ reported that Melly and her then-husband Randall Scott Buchanan had gotten into a fight over rent that spiraled out of control and led to him killing her dog. According to police documents, Melly was found bruised and battered in the street and told officers that Randall had gone crazy, picked up the dog, and slung her across the kitchen as hard as he could. Cops found the defenseless dog tragically dead in the couple's living room, so Randall was arrested and charged with felony animal cruelty. The show wasn't shooting when the incident occurred, and it's unknown where Melly's children were at the time, or if any further investigations were carried out. The Romanical Travelers, also known as English Travelers or English Gypsies, are a Romani subgroup mainly concentrated in the UK. Almost all the Romani in the UK live in England. Most Romanical people speak Anglo-Romani, which is a mix of Romani vocabulary and English syntax. In the UK, there are smaller Romanical communities in the Scottish borders and South and Northeast Wales. Somewhat surprisingly, Romanical travelers are very divided in the UK. Southern Romanical travelers live in South Wales, East Anglia, the Midlands, the Southwest, and the Southeast. Northern Romanical travelers live in Yorkshire, Northwest England, Northeast of Wales, and the Scottish borders. Their dialects differ, and it's uncertain if there is any animosity between the two groups as of 2022. It's interesting to note that many Anglo-Romani words have become part of British slang. As we can see from shows such as Gypsy Sisters, groups of Romanical people emigrated to other English-speaking parts of the world. It's said that there are now more descendants of Romanical people in the US than in the UK. They can be found in Australia, New Zealand, Canada, South Africa, and even in Malta. Most US-based Romanical travelers reside in the New England and Deep South regions. So where exactly do Romani people come from? They originate in Rajasthan and other parts of the Indian subcontinent, and in the 11th century began migrating westwards. By the end of the 16th century, the first groups of Romani had escaped conflicts in southeastern Europe and arrived in Great Britain. In 1506, Romani people were recorded in Scotland for the first time, having originated in Spain. They arrived in England six years later, and laws were soon passed to enforce their assimilation, but prevent further Romani immigration. Banned from entering England by the Egyptians Act of 1530, those already there were given 16 days to leave, and could be deported, imprisoned, or have their property confiscated if they failed to do so. The Egyptians Act of 1554 was somewhat laxer, if Romani switched to a sedentary lifestyle, and abandoned their naughty, idle, and ungodly life and company, they wouldn't be punished. However, if they didn't comply, 
they can be sentenced to death. Eight years later, Romanis born in Wales and England were given the possibility of becoming English subjects and assimilate with the local population. However, they still led marginal lifestyles and were discriminated against by the authorities and others. 106 Romani men and women were condemned to death in 1596, with nine actually executed. The first books were written about them by Samuel Ridd in the early 17th century, and thankfully, anti-Romani laws were slowly repealed from 1780 onwards. The Romanical identity was born between 1660 and 1800. However, there's still a long way to go. As of 2008, Romanis experienced the highest degree of racism of any minority group in the UK, asylum seekers included. Polls also indicated that up to a third of UK residents admitted to being prejudiced against them. As early as 1564, Romanical people were deported to Norway by Elizabeth I, then James I, and other rulers. A 1603 order of council called for the Romanical people to be transported to France, Spain, Newfoundland, the West Indies, and the Low Countries. It's believed that the Romanicals so banished to these countries became slaves, and lost contact with the rest of their ethnic group. After the American War of Independence, Many Romanicals were also deported to Australia, with convicts of other ethnicities. James Squire, the founder of Australia's first commercial brewery, is believed to have been one of the three Romanical carried by the First Fleet in 1788. His grandson, James Farnell, became New South Wales' first native-born premier in 1877. There are only fragmentary records that describe the harsh conditions they faced but these suggest that transportation was physically and psychologically tough for the Romanis. Once exiled, there was little hope of them returning to England. Henry Lavello is the only recorded Romani who was repatriated with a full pardon and returned after being transported to Australia. Romanicals were shipped to North American plantations by Oliver Cromwell's government in the 17th century, where they toiled away as indentured laborers. Later on, the English Romanical people were enslaved in Barbados, Jamaica, Louisiana, and Cuba by freed blacks. Romanicals excelled in agricultural work. During the spring, summer, and autumn months, they would work on farms, sowing seeds, planting fruit trees and potatoes, weeding, and then harvesting crops. The hop industry is particularly known for employing thousands of Romanicals. During the winter months, they would move to the outskirts of town and work doing casual labor or selling their wares to neighbors. The mass industrialization of agriculture left thousands of Romanicals out of work as their jobs disappeared. They switched to fortune telling, selling goods, collecting scrap, and hawking. Notable Romanicals include the boxers Billy Joe Saunders and Henry Wharton. The famous footballer Freddie Eastwood is another. Big Fat Gypsy Weddings and other similar shows became hugely popular in the early 2010s, but were criticized particularly by Romanis and Romanicals for portraying their people negatively. The intrigue and popularity surrounding traveler culture began in February 2010, when the one-off documentary My Big Fat Gypsy Wedding won most groundbreaking show in that year's Cultural Diversity Awards. Episodes of the first series were also slammed for showing young girls wearing full makeup and dancing inappropriately. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.